Kim.
We thank God for this day. Thank you so much, praise and worship team. Tunaona leo tutamtukuza Mungu. Asante, asante. The mic is a little challenge of party, but I am sure we are very able team. Thank you, my brothers, for that work of me.
your machinery and finally you will have to explain so kindly now kiona mtu atakua picture jameni just motion to me the media team yenye tuko nayo ni watu wanaeleweka so don't just allow yourself again to be captured just then how you know you are protected and the family are taken very good steps to ensure that nobody will assume that you can easily Amen. Tumekusanyika mahali hapa siku ya leo. Tukiwa mioyoni tuna maswali mengi. Tukiwa mioyoni tuna uzuni. Na tukiwa mioyoni Bwana hatuna wakutujibu, lakini tumekupata wewe ambao uko na majibu. Tumekualika mahali hapa ewe Bwana uliyetutangulia. Tukiingia mahali hapa tunaamini ulikuweko na ulitutangulia. Asa Bwana ninakuomba kwa unyenyeke wote tunapoanza ibada ya siku ya leo kila moyo ulio na uzuni mahali hapa Mungu panguza machozi panguza machozi yaliyo katika moyo panguza maswali yaliyoko Mungu jibu kila mmoja umwambie uko na majibu ya jambo hili na Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba tunapoendelea na ibada mkono wako waweza ukae juu yetu Tue... niombe niwaalike ndugu wapendwa tena katika ibada hii siku ya leo ni siku ya ibada na tu Mwanyo, 
Kisiri village kikumini location Makweni county he was a he was a third born son to John Baby Ngui, John Ngui Baby and daughter Mbenga Ngui. He was son in law to Moya Mutiso Mukoma and the late Anna Mwelu Moya. He was the brother to Nicholas Gela, Mesha Chalo, Dennis Mutie, Eunice Mino, Flores Kaleche, Norin Moeni, Joyce Mwelu, and Sharon Pile. He was brother in law to Michael Mutuko, Redem Tangela, and Jen Fandenya, and granddaughter Grace. Work. The late Mackenzie worked with Kenchik from the year 1988 to 2010. He then joined self employment in the year 2011 to the year 2014. In 2015, he joined tour safaris and film production industry as a driver or a guide. Some of the companies he worked with include Compo Safaris, Masikyo Safaris, Monkey Safaris, Skyview Safaris, Africa Tour Safaris, Base Camp Safaris, etc. Et he also worked with Monjo Production, Creative Up, Fat, Vein Films, and others. Sickness. The late Mackenzie lived a very healthy and happy life. On the night of 8th, February 2023, he suddenly developed spear headache and he was rushed to Nazareth Hospital where he was admitted. He was diagnosed with meningitis after being tested. He was immediately put on treatment for the same until 15th, February 2023, when he succumbed to the illness. Your overwhelming love, wise guidance, and much generosity, a deep sense of hygiene, winning smile, Vibrant personality and zeal for life will be missed, Mr. Elijah. Life would not have been better than that because I was living every woman's dream. Your life has taught me and me unconditional love, and death taught me kindness. I am grateful for the period we shared together. Till we meet again, rest in peace, my dear husband, Elijah Mackenzie Goy. Thank you. Thank you. He was a rock that never let us down. The strength he possessed wasn't fleshy or in your face. In many ways, he was happy. He was happy. An assuming man who just got on with things. But it was beneath the service that his principle and determination lay. That was most evident in how he put us. His family. It is well. It is well with my soul. Watching you grow and develop into an amazing person you are today has been the highlighting of our journey as parents. Till we meet again, rest in peace, our son. Thank you. and sisters of Elijah. Brother Elijah, you may no longer be with us here. You may, you may no longer be here with us. But we'll never forget you as a great sailor for the family and Hawina, who lived life to the fullest. May your soul rest in peace, our brother. Good morning, Sushi Brothers. We remind us of the great Anyone. You have left your footprints with glory and the sun of time. Your name will be remembered for a long time, and your story will be told for generations. Goodbye, Uncle 
All the time, yes, Santi, it's a matin in Mutuko, the Bia of your cousins. In Ungivan, you will be up your cousins, and you met a Mosi, it's our Mutuko bus. Mutuko, and then you are the cousin you are, they were Madame. We now want you to the low cousin, like in Osu. Yes, you know, Nanti, Mukama Mono. I've killed you out of Ski, come on, Miss Kiria, to talk about Gwenabel. Nataka kusema kwamba itapeana ushuda kuhusu kasi ni wetu. Vile muna tuwana hapa sisi wote, zendi ya metulea. Nataka niongea kwa sababu kuna watu wanaishi na irodi. Tulikuwa tunakaa na hee kwa sababu alikuwa na soma na ndugu yangu mkubwa, darasa moja. Na mimi tukamaliza shule na chalo. Hata ule mwalimu alikuwa natufunza tukiwa primary, nimemuona hapa. Na alikuwa natupika kiboko na katuweka mzuri. I was struck by the news of your sudden death. It shattered my heart, dreams, and hopes. Even as a writer, no one succeeds to express the level of grief I felt when your colleague informed me about your passing. I remember calling you last week to brief you on the upcoming safaris and your voice was weak. You were pale, shadow of the jovial man I had known for 15 years. Where am I now? Uh, this guy, uh... I knew him when he was working for Kenchik and that I will talk about later because uh, Mimi natoka pande ya Naivasha na whenever he was in Naivasha he will drop by my office whether I'm there or not na pia kupitia na speaker simu nimepitia kwa niko area it tells you someone that it's not about just the relation you have about work but it's someone who wants to know how are you getting on uh, you for sure most of you will tell you here that whenever you had a crisis ni yeye atakutafikia watu anakuambia najua fulani atakuja kusaidia na kusimamia ni mtu mzuri oh could allow you to take some longer time because it was very explicit that you've lost a guy who was so dear to you yeah it expressed deep love pastors jabiote neighbors kama familia tunasema ni asante ni kwa sababu Umeusika mpaka tukamaliza hafla hii. 
Chota na spread wa patile. Tunaomba mapenzi yako yatendeke katika maisha yetu. Tunaenda kupumzisha mwili ya mpendwa wetu. Mwili ambao ni wa mpendwa tulio mpenda. Tulimuenzi. Mungu tulifanya mambo mengi pamoja naye. Na kwa kuwa umempumzisha Mungu tunakuja kusema asante. Tunapomzisha mwili huu tunaomba nguvu zako ziwe pamoja nasi. Neema yako Bwana na itutoshe. Rehema na fadhili zako ziwe juu yako juu ya maisha ya familia juu ya maisha ya marafiki wote waliofanya kazi pamoja naye Mungu wa majeshi ukawafariji kwa faraja zako tunaposoma neno lako Mungu tunakamilisha kazi ambao sisi tulio watumishi wako ulitupatia ya kwamba ulitoa mwanadamu toka mavumbini na ulitupatia sisi wachungaji kumrudisha mwanadamu na mwili wake mafumbini 
Roho na nafsi yake si mikononi mwako. Mungu wewe ndio wajua ya kwake. Sisi tunashughulikia mwili katika jina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Acha nisome neno moja alafu nitawaelekeza kuweka mchanga. Kumeesia na kukaisa nyunyi si muundani. Yote yani hiyo juu wako ukaisa hadi. Kubika hilo kasioka muda ngani? Nondo nipo waumie. Nondo wikito na kitoni ukasioka. Na ende ni mtongoze na nami na kwaje si tu ni azo kuicha muda anga. Unaikisema kwa jina la baba na chupa ya kwanza na la mwana ya pili na roho mtakatifu na maliza mchanga. E, tunarudisha mwili mabumbini mwili wa mwenda zake a uh, Elijah Mackenzie siku ya leo teremusha mwili wake Elijah Mackenzie katika jina la baba tupa na mwana na la roho mtakatifu amen Mungu wa mbinguni katika jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu wewe ndiye Mungu na wewe ndiye Mungu tunapofunika bwana wa Israeli kaburi ili ninaomba nguvu zako zikakae juu ya hili kaburi ninakataza kila roho za watu waliokufa kutoka katika makaburi na utesa watu ila ikataza katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwamba shetani hata tembelea katika mkoma um, hii hata tembelea katika kaburi hii katika jina kuu la Yesu wachawi ambao umetembea katika makaburi wakiokota mchanga wa kuenda kupanda kifo kwa boma za wenyewe yale madhambao tumesimamisha kwa hii boma yakawe moto kinyume na wao yakawe mtego wa kuanasa katika jina kuu la Yesu naomba damu ya mwanao Yesu Kristo ewe Jehova ikapata kunyunyiswa katika hii boma anga yao Ah, so. No, 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 no,